five minutes. Jody and Julian are on their way to Tour Tour, known as Provence's village in the sky. And you can smell in the air the herbs, can't you? With a local guide and herbalist, they take a tour, tour, tour. Right, so we're looking for... I've seen it. This is the sage, yes? It's a sage, yes. <laughs> oh, it's lovely, look. Oh, yes, yeah, sage. No, we're going to oh, the sage. Oh, sounds amazing. So it's a very nice, uh, good medicinal plant and also <sighs> an herb you can use for cooking. This uh, main component of the bouquet garni. A bouquet garni is a bundle of herbs popular with French chefs and donkeys. They decide to present a bunch in Monte Carlo as their gourmet choice. We could reenact the nativity, couldn't we? Yes, you, you're a wonderful Joseph. Yes. <laughs> you're um, a wonderful Mary. Oh, gosh. Some people say I'm a Mary. Some people? <laughs> So we're looking for here, obviously rosemary. Oh yeah, that the rosemary. Gorgeous. Oh look, time is time is here. Wait, where's our little? It's a wild thyme, and yeah, that it's is very the best. different from. Oh, lovely. Yes, oh it gets God, a strongest so perfume. Yes, it's my favourite. It thyme. increases resistance during the winter. It's antibiotic, anti antiseptic. It's a full power plant. The area lies in a huge limestone valley with chalky soil, which, combined with low rainfall and plenty of sunshine, makes the herbs from this region the best in the world. Have they found a heavily aromatic winner? It's just like this whole region everywhere is just herbs. I've always been very sniffy about middle-class English people moving to Provence. But you're, you're, you're understanding it now, aren't you? I was packing my bags now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to have to write this all down because I know I'm going to get in front of the judges and forget everything. 